Greetings, cadets, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank in the Rocket Rabbit Commentaries playthrough. And in this part, we're gonna fight a real warbot as a freak warbot. Really? The, uh, Clank has got significantly better survivability than uh, than the normal warbots. Well, I mean, huh. we're throwing high-grade explosives at these guys. They're using puny lasers that are fit for lighting birthday candles. So then, why don't so why don't the uh, standard warbots have uh, high-grade explosive cannons? Well, because they obviously because Mr. Greta, they don't have a magical little floor platform that just auto spawns the bombs. Now, how are they supposed to get around that problem? By just having by having a replicator that allows them to generate high uh, high energy explosives. We we're in a sci-fi setting. That thing exists. But what if we just wanted the kids to play? You don't want the kids to play with the warbots. The warbots are armed with lasers. But we are Clank. We can take it. It's not about Clank being able to take it. It's that the fact that the most biological life forms do not uh, do not agree with having laser burns on their skin. We're gonna get you, Zed. All right, time for a boxing good time. Hey, Frogger. Jesus. No. 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 Mm -hmm. Jesus had very little to do with the development of Frogger. God can't help you now! <sighs> Waiting for boxes. This is where we've come to in, in our games. No, I definitely wouldn't use that magnet over there. No, 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 that's a bad idea. It's like Chunky Kong trying to tell her to use the other Kongs. Mm. More raritanium. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Tiny. Does Chunky actually uh, tell you who to use if you if you uh if you uh, <laughs> stay on him for long enough? Yeah, because <laughs> right, wow. they animate all the Kongs in the in the select your Kong menu. So um, if you stay in it long enough, Chunk Chunky doesn't want to be picked because he's shy. But he always points to Tiny. Says, "Tiny, pick uh, Tiny. <laughs> she's she's better." <laughs> well, she is. I mean, she's got she's got Dixie's hover. She's got whereas wee. Chunky Kong. Oh, aside uh, aside from giant invincibility, what does Chunky Kong? What is Chunky Kong's uh, uh, actual power? Uh, he can turn into a giant Chunky Kong, so he could pick up big stuff like big boulders or barrels and stuff. For the record, Lance and Janice is not that good of a soap opera. Yeah, he just wants to be able to tell all of his co-workers what he thought of the episode. Well, what did you think, Zed? Um, I, I, I thought it was good. <laughs> it was one of the best uh, of all time. It's like, really? Because I thought it was garbage. How do I know you really saw it? Um, well, Lance and Janice had to, you know, uh, successfully apply for divorce filings, and it was a very interesting, in-depth look at their characters. It's it's the big red button that's no longer red, Clank. Greetings. You've reached the voicemail box of Chairman Alonzo Drake. I'm away. Oh, yeah, I you, wanted to know. I wanted to know the punchline. You, you get you get the idea. <laughs> Hello, the number you are dialing is not in service at the moment. Please try again. Disengage the facility security grid. Yay! Yay! Meanwhile, back at the tarmac. You did well, Clank. Thank you. Uh, wait, what are we talking about? I zoned out for a second. 
It's quiet. Too quiet. So is this the part where we figure out that uh, Quark is working with Drek? No, this is not a, this is not the part where that particular issue is maybe raised into question. Instead, we are fighting. Little Zircons. Evil Mr. Zircon. You, little Zircons, are the disease. The real Mr. Zircon is the cure. It looks like the main office is up there. Oh, but then we have to go through Sheila at, at, uh, at the secretary office in order to get up there, and she's just not having the best of days. So, in uh, Link's Awakening, Oracle of Ages, and Oracle of Seasons, they didn't let you have the Rock's Feather for a little while. And that's what we're dealing with right now. Our Rock's Feather is the jetpack. The chest that has the Rock's Feather is the jetpack refueling station. So until we get to that station, we are we have to use the corridor path that they have set up for us. Okay. <laughs> because that's been the premise this whole time, is as soon as we landed on Kwartu, probably because uh, Ratchet was uh, showboating while descending onto Quartu, especially by taking the lead, he exhausted all of his jetpack fuel. Ooh. Yeah. The combustor now has knockback on it. Huh. Oh, thank God. Dude, stun is amazing. You know what else is amazing? Warmonger. So, it's a four-barreled rocket launcher. And it's got more than four shots. Got six shots. Ooh. Ah, uh, magic rocket launcher. The weapon that when used against certain enemies, well, and they would tease us with the fucking jetpack refueling station right there. But we can't get through the barrier. Guess we'll have to go um, around. I mean, if we had hover, we could. No, but you can't, you can't hover and then change direction and then land. You have to, you have to commit to the direction. Oh. So it's a Castlevania double jump. Well, it's not. A, it's not really a double jump. It's more like a. It's more like a single jump. I remember those doors. See, they thought I was gonna ignore that. Death is too stupid. Another card pack. Another card pack. Yay! New cards available. Well, <laughs> Wouldn't well, you like card to help? I sure as hell don't. Whoa, whoa, easy there, sport. Certain death down below. Well, Mr. Zircon, we have to, you know, figure out which which conveyor belt we need. It's this one. You know, because if we were out. Ouch. Because if we were Warbots, we could go through those lasers, no problem. But because we're not Warbots, we gotta watch out for those lasers. Dance! Dance, you army of fiends! Hey, there's a, they're still Zircons. They're not necessarily fiend-ish. The real Mr. Zircon is a level 3, 1300 attack monster that is machine-type. Evil Zircon is a fiend type monster, level two, nine hundred attack points. <laughs> okay, you still need uh, you still need effects and attributes, Cloud. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so Mr. Zircon, Mr. Zircon is Earth type. Evil Zircon is Dark type. <laughs> okay, but. So, so what do I need? Defense points now? <laughs> uh, you still need defense and effect. They're, they're vanillas. Oh. That's boring. Okay, they have defense equal to their attack there. All right. Bit a bit iffy for their uh, for their level then, but uh, that'll work. I mean, they they're basically Legend of Blue Eyes creatures at best. Uh, less than yeah. Uh, no more than more than. They're uh, they're a bit power crept over LLB uh, LLB vanillas. <laughs> you made it. Now 
Ah, uh, the trespasser screen. We can't get her on the trespasser screen. We can just have our lives wasted, which is different. Pum, 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 pum. All right, so there are one, two, three, there are five little yep. things we have to light up, and there are one, two, three, four, five, seven. six, seven. So two of these do not necessarily have to be used. Right. We're going to solve this with our brains. First, it is entirely possible that one of the, uh, one of these rings must be deactivated. I believe it's the outer ring that needs to be deactivated because it's creating a blockage. You know, just kind of just kind of finagle it in there. You know, wiggle it around, and uh, you know, you might jimmy the lock at some point. Y you just might. Or you could make it so that nobody could ever use the fucking lock ever again. Alright, this looks good. Now take yep. Yeah. There we go. Way more fun to play than it is to watch. Yeah. And we got jetpack fuel, and for some reason, maybe because Quar 2 has less gravity or something, our jetpack fuel gets consumed at a much lower rate than on Gaspar. It's actually because there's only one uh, fu uh, fueling station that we've uh, that we've seen so far. Oh, there's, there's the there's other there's one. Another one. Did, what the? F I saw I saw that cloud. That was that was a small amount of BS. Operator, get me the hell out of here. <laughs> You, there is a trespasser puzzle that is optional in this room, and you can miss it. And if you miss it, then you lose out on your chance of getting the safe cracker achievement at the end of the game. Okay. So where are the warbots that we're supposed to be slaying? Well, uh, the, the, the two of them left are... Ah, oh, Korra's fighting them. That makes sense. And Korra has infinite health. There. Yay. Um, oh, how about that trespasser puzzle? That looked like, or was that the one that was, yeah, that was probably the one that was blocked up. All right, all right, I'll kill the things, and then I'll do the thing that I want to do, which is to solve bullshit puzzles. Head. Okay, we don't know that. There yes, are we do. There were at least three enemies in that room with him. Well, looks like it's all on us. And we did it. Oh, you thought that was it? Because you would be right. Now, I believe at the moment Cora is waiting for me to go to the trespasser terminal. Because all the. Yep, yep. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Yeah, warbots are not really a threat against max out level plasma grenades. Right. Ah, but we can't use the trespasser puzzle either in cutscene or in combat. Goodbye, stupid ranger. Nah. So it's the Matron Warbot, right? And in the next part, we've met Mr. Zircon. We've met Zircon Jr. Now it's time to meet Mrs. Zircon. Aha. Uh -huh.